here we are with the week two kitten cam. Um, I should have recorded this yesterday to keep it a week from the last video, but unfortunately, uh, we were at Slitterbond yesterday, so I wasn't here to video kitties. Getting bigger. They, um, are starting to play a bit, and all their eyes are open now. Um, they have discovered that they can climb out of their pen. I came out this afternoon, and three of them were sleeping out in the concrete, and one of them was still in the little box, and Calico, oddly enough, was laying behind it. I think she was trying to get away from them. She's here eating dinner. I've been giving her, oh, about a half a can of food every day. I'll put a full can out at dinner time, and she'll usually eat about half of it. So then I'll saran wrap what's left and refrigerate it, and then give it to her the next day. But you can see they're being cute and playing. They're so sweet. This one here I call Fidget. He's, um... He's the most distinctive of the coloration. The rest of them are almost identical, but he's got mostly orange back and a little spumpy tail. And, uh, he's such a goof. He just fidgets all the time. Pick him up, he whines. You set him down, he whines. He, he's, he's just silly. So we've called him Fidget. And, uh, well, it's hard to pick him out right now when they're playing. I think this one here, playing with Fidget right now, is Jester. Um, he's such a goof. He just like lays on his back and poses and he's always trying to chew on something and yeah, he's just been silly. And we have one. I think this is him right here. I'd have to look at him a bit, but um, I've been kind of tentatively calling him Wilbur after the pig in Charlotte's Web because he's the runt, or as close to the runt as we had. He was kind of the late bloomer. He opened his eyes a day or so after the rest of them. Been a little bit slower. Jester and uh, the other unnamed kitty have kind of been our overachievers. They've been the, the forerunners. I don't think Fidget's all that bright. <laughs> he's so sweet, but he's not bright. And I told Amy that if we were going to end up... Oh, hi there. Are you posing? Posing Mr. Thing. Um, I told Amy that if we ended up keeping one, that I wanted one that was intelligent, not one that would run out and pick a fight with a raccoon thinking, oh, this is a bright idea and get killed, so I don't know. But uh, last night we got news that we have visas for New Zealand. So hopefully uh, within the next year we will get jobs sorted out and we'll be moving down, down under. And since we're planning on doing that, um, we can't keep the cats, obviously. Uh, we just no way we can afford to A, move them and B, uh, it's just mean to have them in quarantine for, you know, cool in about seven months. So. We, um, we will have to find homes for these little guys. We got, we don't know which one's spoken for, they have to come out and meet them, but the other three no one's claimed yet, so I guess we'll find out when we get to August who wants them. Calico we're going to get fixed and then she'll just stay out here at the house as an outdoor cat. Worst case scenario, we'll get these guys fixed and keep them here too, but with the white on them, I'm really afraid they wouldn't last long. They'd be good owl targets, unfortunately. <laughs> guys are so sweet. But as you can see, they're playing. Another week or so, I think I'll start making them some kitten toys. I have a few toys I made for Shadow left, and I'll pull those out and make them some just strange stuff. Put a bendy straw or, you know, just oddball stuff that they'll chew on and play with and in with them once they start actually moving around the pen a fair bit. Right now, they've just managed to figure out how to climb out and crawl back in. So, <laughs> it's a start. For two weeks old, it's not bad. So, I'm getting there. It's fun to see them finally starting to play. Although I'm not looking forward to when their little sharp teeth come in. The little toenails are bad enough. They get chewed on. Crazy sharp baby teeth. <laughs> They're so cute. I think Callie goes down once again. She's got about half the can consumed. <laughs> Callie, you stay here. She took off the other day when I was cleaning up the litter box and was scouting out that direction. And there's a big piece of aluminum siding on its side down there in the garage. And um, unfortunately, she went under it. So I had to stand around for, excuse me, 15 minutes or so waiting for her to come out. It was not amusing. Calico, come on. Come on. Come back here. Hey. I'm talking to you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do not.
not make me chase you. Okay, she's gonna sit down there. We see her moving again, I have to get up and go get her. You stay put. That's right, Miss Thing. Oh, <laughs> look, he's chewing his tongue. <laughs> Biting his foot. You guys don't have to stay in there, you know that. You can get out. I know it's hot. It's about 100 degrees outside today. We're in the shade, thankfully. But, uh, nonetheless, I mean, thankfully there's a breeze. I finally got, took the windbreak down here about four days ago so that their pen could breathe better and they'd get some breeze now that they've got enough hair and I'm not worried about them getting cold. But, um, it still stinks. It's, you know, 100 degrees isn't fun. Hi there, old guy. Hi there, are you coming out? Are you coming out? You can come out if you want. I think we got one that's gonna go to sleep. Hi there. Come on. Get out. It's okay. See, I put him down and Vidget starts whining already. Come on, baby. There you go. <laughs> They're so sweet. They're just starting to try to walk. They're still crawling on their bellies for the most part, but I've been watching them here in the last day or so. They've, they've started to finally try to get up on all fours. So probably in a few more days here we'll have, we'll have walking kittens. <laughs> Fidget, what you doing? Huh? What you doing? of adorable cuteness. Aww. Hey, Kiki. Hey, baby. Kitten cam ground level. Da, da, da. <laughs> Hi, babies. Are you trying to walk? You are, aren't you? You are trying really hard. Anyway, I suppose I better call this a video. It's uh, week two. We'll see where they're at at week three. More later.